Welcome to this second Urban H10 Global Debate. I hope everyone has found a seat so far. So, welcome again. And um, yeah, this is the second Urban H10 Global Debate here at the LSE. We have prepared a series of five global debates. We had the first one last. Thursday with uh, Nick Stern, and uh, on Wednesday we continue with uh, the question, who owns the city, and Saskia Sassen. Hope that I will meet a lot of you again on Wednesday. Our topic today is steering urban growth, can planning and architecture manage? And I'm very delighted that we have two presenters here today who will organize, the, in my view, the two most important events about urbanization next year. Juan Kloss and Alejandro Aravena. The global explosion in urban populations will be accommodated largely in informal settlements. So far, no city has managed to solve the problem associated with them through new housing. The question is not only how the slums can be improved, but how the established global cities with their massive immigration and rising inequality might be able to find new solutions, to find new ways of participation. And here I steal from Alejandro to find a new language of architecture for all and not just for a few. I represent the Alfred Herrhausen Society, the International Forum of Deutsche Bank. We are looking for traces of the future in the present. That means we look at current issues of our time we enable the exchange of ideas. We bring people together who should meet. And I think you all agree that urbanization is one of the most important issues of our time. We have joined forces with the London School of Economics 10 years ago. And five years ago, we founded LSE Cities. So we have yeah, two possibilities to celebrate. I think happy birthday to all of us. The aim is to improve the physical and the social conditions of urban dwellers. We do research, teaching, and events, and we produce beautiful books, and not only books. Ricky asked me also to show this beautiful folder here. You all have that on your table. Uh, also, these kind of graphics were made by LSE Cities. But we have also given the Deutsche Bank Urban Age Award seven times to seven different cities. This award highlights initiatives which have, which have found their own solutions for their problems. Let it be a vertical slum in Sao Paulo, a community initiative on top of a toilet in Mumbai, or um, Mothers Unite in Cape Town. The award makes the invisible visible. It unveils the potential found in slums, favelas, and townships. And this is how we bring both worlds together, the experts' world from urban age and the grassroots world from the award. You might want to have the recipe of our successful cooperation, and I'll share that with you tonight. You have to choose the right topic at the right time, the right institutions, but most of all, the right people. Therefore, I would like to thank, first of all, the London School of Economics and Political Science for their cooperation through all these years, which made our work really productive. I'd like to thank Ricky, Philip, Richard Sennett, and the entire team, hard-working team of Urban Age, for these wonderful 10 years. And I'd also like to thank all speakers and contributors over the past 10 years for their engagement. Some of them are here today, others will join us during the week. Saskia Sassen called us once the urban tribe, but finally we have become the urban age family. And last but not least, I have a secret ingredient of our success. It is that we are challenging ourselves every year, again, 
with new topics, with new countries, with new cities, with new cultures. We step out of our comfort zone. We discussed not only architecture and planning with architects and planners, but we also discussed health issues in 2011 in Hong Kong with doctors and neuroscientists. We discussed economic growth with economists and governance with politicians. And I think that's the clue, leaving your comfort zone. I'm very happy now to introduce an Urban Age family member to you. You may have heard about Jose Castillo as an award-winning architect from Mexico City, as a professor of the Harvard uh, Graduate School of Design. But for us, Jose is the man who organized the best city tour ever in Mexico City. He showed us all different parts of Mexico, and he even made us step into a garbage dump. And despite of this, despite of this, he became a friend. Jose, now the floor is yours.